so now we get to a little part we called uh, Doing Their Best, and uh, we're bringing forward one of our longtime Sunday Assembly LA uh, community members, Terry Smith. Good morning. Okay. Um, in September of 2014, um, a relationship that I had been involved in for 13 years ended. It was not unexpected. Um, it was overdue. And we had been drifting apart for quite some time. Still, it was a shock to my system. And I fell into a very deep depression. Um, and there was a point where I became suicidal. I didn't talk about it with anyone, I kept it to myself, but I have a very compassionate, loving friend who also happens to be a therapist, and she knew what was going on, especially when I started giving away all my stuff. Um, and she came to me alarmed. And she got me to open up and to face what was really going on inside me, and she helped me to realize two very important things. The first, was that I was grieving more for his family than I was for him. So he has this huge, loving, compassionate family and they have great parties and um, they're a lot of fun and they loved me and they still love me, uh, even despite all my peculiarities. And the second important thing that I learned was that for at least 10 of those 13 years, I had been doing all the things that he wanted to do and going all the places that he wanted to go and not really going and doing things that I wanted to do. And I know I have no one but myself to blame for that part. Now, I had been a uh, secular humanist for a very long time, and I've always been very supportive of atheists, atheists and uh, humanitarian organizations through monetary donations. So I have this thick wallet full of membership cards. Um, I've also been very... Uh, active on Facebook, so I have all these atheist friends. But that wasn't doing anything to fill up this hole. And I realized I needed and I wanted a lot more, and I needed face-to-face um, -face interactions with like-minded people. And I had known about Sunday Assembly and CFI and Atheist United for quite a while, and I knew that I needed to uh, reform this social web around myself. Um, when you're suffering from very deep depression, there is the tendency to isolate. Above all, you isolate. Um, and though I wanted to do all these things, it was so difficult. It's so difficult to just get out of the house and face new social interactions. So it took me quite a while. And it wasn't until this past January that I felt strong enough and I attended my first Sunday assembly and I liked it. It was totally different. But I also knew that I had to do something to make myself come back because the tendency would be to blow it off, to panic, to find some reason at the last moment where I couldn't, didn't want to go. Um, so I signed up to volunteer because then I would have a responsibility here. And I came back the next month and I came back every month, and every month since then I've been volunteering at every Sunday, Sunday, except for one month when I was in Spain. And at each assembly, it's, it's been an incredible experience. I've met some incredibly loving people here who give so much and I don't know how they do it. Um, I, uh, I've learned that I'm extremely touch deprived and I'm working to fix that. Um, I've atten uh, attended a lot of fun social events, lots of fun. Um, I've been giving the opportunities, given the opportunities to give back to the world, but most importantly, I found acceptance here. Um, sorry. Okay, onward. Um, a few months ago, I signed up to be part of the Help Often team. And I've been a part of the uh, group that serves dinner in West Hollywood. And I can't describe 
in words. It's really hard to describe what this experience is like because the lines between who is giving and who is receiving, they disappear, they're gone. And you're just surrounded by love and compassion and gratitude, and it makes me high. Um, I've also um, hosted a recent jam session at my house, which was wonderful, and to our complete and utter delight, Streetlight Caden showed up, so you can understand, you know. <laughs> Um, so you can understand what an incredible experience that is. Um, what I want to say here today, the most important thing, is that for today, right now, I'm feeling happier and more fulfilled than I ever have. And I have a purpose in life. And I just want to thank Sunday Assembly and all of you for helping me to save my life. Thank you.